What's going on guys, Psycho Killer here, and welcome back to my Red Dead Online Rags to Riches series, Psycho Goes West. In this episode, we are going to cover our next role, the Moonshiner role. We're going to talk about how to get the Moonshiner role started, and the essentials with the role to optimize the amount of money you make. If this video is at all helpful for you, as always, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel or haven't done so already, consider subscribing with your post notifications turned on so you don't miss any of the money-making methods or any other content that I release here on the channel. If you have not seen my previous episodes, make sure you check them out. The link to them will be in the description down below. But without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and get into this episode. First you're going to want to go right here to Emerald Ranch. The best way to do so is by fast traveling to Emerald Station, riding over on horseback. And then when you get to Emerald Ranch, you just want to go right here inside this cabin and you'll do a cutscene with Maggie and Crips. At the end of the cutscene you'll be offered to buy the Moonshine Shack for 25 gold bars at its normal price. At the time of recording this, as you can see, it's actually only 20 gold bars because I had a discount. So if you have the opportunity to purchase the Moonshine Shack while it's discounted, absolutely do so. So the next thing you're going to do, or really the first thing you're going to want to do after purchasing the Moonshine Shack is go there. You can fast travel to your Moonshine Shack from anywhere that there's a fast travel post or if you have the Wilderness Camp. However, you cannot fast travel out of your Moonshine Shack to somewhere else you have to ride. Unless, again, you have the Wilderness Camp. So there are two missions you absolutely have to complete first with the Moonshine Shack before you can actually start your business. One of them is rescuing the cook, and the other one is gathering the equipment. It doesn't matter which order you complete them in as long as you complete them both, but for the sake of this I did rescue the cook and then gather the equipment. Now we're not going to go in depth with these two missions because they're both as simple as ride there either grab the cook or the wagon after killing some people and then ride back. It's that simple. There's really nothing much to it. So after you complete those two missions you have a couple options you can do. You can go speak to Maggie here where you can visit the Moonshiner store, accept a bootlegger mission, or complete the story missions at the bottom. So the Moonshiner store we'll cover here in just a minute. The bootlegger missions are missions that you complete, little tiny quests that actually make the cost of your moonshine go up, depending on the buyers that you pick and what the mission is. So in the moonshine store we have some items here. Uh, we've got the flammable moonshine which you can pour and light on fire by shooting it, the toxic moonshine which is a poisonous gas, and the toxic moonshine pamphlet which will teach you how to craft the toxic moonshine at your camp or crafting spot. The bar expansion will actually add a bar into the basement of your moonshine shack which you can visit with friends, you can use it for some daily challenges, and you can drink your own moonshine there. In addition to that we also have a band expansion, we'll actually add a band to the bar room and really the main purpose with this is just for fun to play with the band and there is also a daily challenge that revolves around playing with the band. The bar decor is 100% optional and cosmetic. It does absolutely nothing for your money making. However, every once in a while you will receive a daily challenge that will ask you to change your bar decor. You do that and then you'll get your gold bars for completing your daily challenge. The bar photos are also 100% cosmetic and do absolutely nothing to help you gain money. But again, every once in a while, there will be a daily challenge to add bar photos. Now here's where we really get into the money making upgrades. The condenser upgrade will help you to make slightly better moonshine. Um, it will make you more money when it's stronger. And if you drink it in the bar, it will make you get drunker faster. And finally, the polished copper upgrade is the best. It makes the best moonshine that you can make and make the most amount of money and you'll get the drunkest fastest just by adding that as well. Now if you go downstairs you can reach the moonshine business talk to Marcel there. When you start your business you have three options here. There's the moonshine still, flavoring, and moonshine. 
The moonshine still is where you choose the mash itself. Uh, you have weak, average, and strong. Average gets opened with the condenser and strong gets opened with the copper. If you go into the flavoring, this is where you're actually going to flavor the moonshine. You'll have today's requests and the higher up you go and the more recipes you obtain with pamphlets, the more options you have to sell. Now you can see there's one star, two star, three star. Those get unlocked as well as you go. And each recipe requires the ingredients. For instance, a berry mint moonshine requires a canned strawberries, a blackberry, and a wild mint leaf. Now, just like with every other roll, we have rank and kit unlocks. For the moonshine roll rank one, the first thing you get is two of the roll tokens. For rank two, you get the berry cobbler moonshine pamphlet, which will teach you a new recipe for your moonshine business. With rank three, we have two of the special roll tokens. Rank four, we get bootlegger opportunities where you learn to deal with other rival moonshine business and other threats. And rank five, we have the bold dance down in the bar. The kit, we have a toxic moonshine pamphlet. We have the Holmes gloves. We have the speckled gray and black coat Norfolk roadsters that you can purchase at the stable. The bar expansion, which you can get from Maggie, as I said prior. The Ivers saddle you can purchase from the stable as well. And we have the Gatlinburg outfit, as well as the Ivers gun belt. Moving on into the promising rolls, rank six, we have the Wild Creek Moonshine recipe. Rank seven will give us an ingredient satchel upgrade, allow us to carry more ingredients on our satchel. Rank eight is simply just going to be two roll tokens. Rank nine is going to give us a new order that we can sell moonshine to. And rank 10 is, again, just two roll tokens. Now for the promising kits, we have the Daro Buckle. We also have flammable moonshine, which as I said, you can pour it and shoot it to catch it on fire. We have the sawed off shotgun variant. You can modify your sawn off at the ammo store. The Nevin hip flask, just a little trinket. The band expansion, which you can add onto the bar, as I said before. We have the Dagon heart outfit. We have the condenser upgrade, which moves up to the average moonshine. Rank 11 will give us a cheerful dance, which we can use in the bar. Rank 12 will give us the Spice Island Moonshine recipe. Ranks 12 and 13 are both just going to be two roll tokens. And rank 15 is going to reduce the amount of time it takes to make a batch of moonshine. The kits, we have the slicked back hairstyle. We have the Levin's holster. For the second sidearm, we have the Pittsburgh Moonshine Roll outfit. We do have the Piebald Roan and Rose Gray coats for the Norfolk Roadster. We've got the Saboteur Monocle. We have the Polished Copper Upgrade, which will allow us to make the best moonshine possible. Rank 15 gives us two roll tokens. I'm sorry, rank 16. Rank 17 will give us a material satchel upgrade. Again, rank 18 will give us two roll tokens. Rank 19 will give us the protection, will reduce the risk of attacks on the moonshine. And rank 20 will give us the rowdy dance to use in the bar. The distinguished kit upgrades, we do have the Wilkesboro outfit. And we have the hangover emote. We have the dappled buckskin and spotted tricolor coats for the North Suffolk Roadster. And we have the Stuart Top Hat. And in addition as well, just like all the other rolls, when you purchase the Moonshine Shack, you have a new daily challenge that you can complete. Once you reach rank 5, there will be two daily challenges. And once you reach rank 10, there will be three daily challenges. And that's the basics of the Moonshine Shack. It's a quick walkthrough, run through of it. Um, the way I normally do it is I will start my batch, add the flavoring, and start a timer. 
for however long the batch is supposed to take and I'll go do bounties or I'll go do my trader or collector whatever until that should be ready and then I'll sell my moonshine as soon as I sell it I start another batch and do it all over again so again if this video is helpful for you guys at all do not forget to smash that like button and if you're new to the channel consider subscribing Turn your post notifications on so you do not miss the next episode of Psycho Goes West, Red Dead Online, Rags to Riches. And as always, my dudes, I will see you on the flip side.